Welcome to Mission's Autumn 2021 launch. Today I'm going to show you the Taurus 100. This is a simple way to light your dartboard when you're on the move. This travel light is a lightweight and fold up system that goes really small and fits into your luggage. The lighting system quickly unfolds and clips to any dartboard. The long cable helps you reach a power source and with the adapters from around the world you'll be able to get light wherever you travel. The lightweight frame features bright white LED lights and in this innovative design the inside edge of the light rail is tilted 25 degrees outward to allow even more light to reach the board. Once installed your Taurus 100 won't move if knocked. The simple fixings clip firmly onto the dartboard which means you can use the Taurus 100 dart light with any bristle dartboard, with a board and surround or even in a dartboard cabinet. Installation is very simple. You unfold the two arms, tighten the thumb screws and then effortlessly clip the light to your dartboard. It's really that simple. In the box you'll have this instruction manual that gives you 10 steps but literally each step seems to take about 2 seconds to do. So it's really really simple from the off. Let's have a look inside the box and see what we've got. Now you can see here the important clip which slips into your dartboard and you can clip it at the top. Here we have the cable that connects to the main unit which is made with a nice black aluminium metal. Now you can see how small this is with the mission branding on the front and this folds and opens really easily allowing you to have light wherever you are. They've added a nice little travel bag here as you can see, apologies for using one hand, but I'm also filming with the other for once. So it's a nice little bag, drawstring, which fits in simply into your travel bag so you have a light with you on tour or wherever you want to go. And I'm assuming inside here we have the adapters and power. So you have special adapters here for each of your regions. Cord, which I think is a fairly standard cord anyway so even if you were to lose it or break it you can replace those fairly easily another pronged socket and hopefully there we go the UK socket for myself and that's it now this bracket here actually is almost the same as the 270 but I found it actually is a little bit larger in those sections at the top so it makes it even easier to slip in. So if you do have a Taurus 270, I recommend replacing this bracket with the one that you have at the top so it makes it easier for both of them to slip in. So guys, you can see we've got the Taurus 270 on at the moment, which obviously held without this section here. Now I think that because this bracket is the same as gonna go on the new portable one, I should be able to just take it out and put it in. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna show you me taking it out you can see the light as it is on the board now, and then I'll chop it and you'll see the light difference. It'll be comparative. So it's not as bright, you are going to get shadowing, especially from the sections here on the lines. But I'm going to take the camera over so you can have a look and see for yourselves. Oh, sorry, I stopped the recording there for a second. Okay. So 
So, you can see very faint, very faint shadows, but I mean, four was effectively just the top light, light on the board there. It's not bad. It's quite, I mean, it's not fully dark in the room yet, but it lights up on the board plenty. I mean, I can see it, no issues. Same kind of metal, so, uh, aluminium sort of construct as the M270. Easier your tightening. So this is a little bit wobbly. Let's tighten up these bits here. Yeah, you can see it's, you can see the angle as well here, so it's tilting. Bringing the bit here allows more, board, more light to hit the board. In the video, it took me a little bit just to get that into that bracket there, but these bits on the side you can move up and down to kind of make it tighter or looser. I just couldn't be bothered to actually change it to the other bracket because it should fit in there fine. Yeah, I mean, much didn't take up much space at all. Light for the board, but quite nice. Some pictures just so I can see. Let's really try and create some shadow around the ball. shadows here very light but you know, what do you expect for something that's not going to go sort of covering the majority it's literally like a top light so yeah here we go that is So as you saw in the intro, this is literally me using one hand, because I'm filming with the other, um, to simply show you how easy it is to put together. Um, you've got this little travel bag, I can get it out if I can, like so, I promise you I'm still only using one hand, I just decided, yes, yes, there we go. Okay, so you have the unit, you can simply use these screws at the top there we go so you open them up and you use the screw here I'll tighten up a little bit and then I'll put it perfectly in place you press it hard up against the front to make sure that it's all level and do the same for the other one you can see obviously there's a lot of uh, flex and maneuverability with it which uh, isn't a bad thing once you've tightened up it's all fairly solid there we go using one hand and my left hand and there you go that is it it just simply will slot into the clip at the top of your board and then you just plug it in and turn it on simples Taurus 100 is a really nice addition to the mission range, giving us, the consumers, something a bit more manageable when taking our equipment with us to a different location. I've already reviewed the mission tour bag, which would easily fit this light and save you carrying a big circular lighting system such as the Taurus 270, when a simple travel light will just do the job that it needs to do. It's very light, very compact and does a nice job. 
I'm currently not sure on the price at the time of filming as it's literally bank holiday Monday, the day before the launch. So hopefully we'll now have an idea of the price and you can decide if it's worth it. Now I'm hoping it's sub 40 pounds, around the 35 or lower for me and that's really well priced. I can also see these being a super solution for people who run tournaments, like the one I just attended this weekend at Evolution Darts in Stowmarket. Now these lights would certainly save Darren some space and be a quick easy setup, but it's also easy for people who lack space or use their dartboards on doors for example, as you can easily remove this light if required. Is it perfect and comparable to the Taurus 270? The simple answer is no, but it's not going to be and it's not trying to be. The way this has been marketed and the people it is targeting is those who need a portable easy solution for lighting and I think it does just that. You can also buy the universal dimmer if you find it too bright which is available at Darts Corner. I hope you enjoyed the review and if you haven't already subscribed please consider clicking below and click the bell to be notified of more videos from me. More importantly if you liked the video let YouTube know that you did and they can recommend my content for others to help my channel grow. Thanks for watching and remember, love darts.